Lignite is actually a low-grade form of coal. Uh, the, here's the report, and the photo on the cover is actually of a lignite deposit in Southland. In this case, it's lying like a club sandwich in layers below the land. Um, this is actually a piece of lignite that I've picked up down the bottom of that hole. Um, it really looks very much like charred wood because it is in fact very young coal or very old wood, if you like. I believe that climate change is by far the biggest, most serious environmental issue we face. Carbon dioxide is the main greenhouse gas and uh, whenever you use lignite, because it's such a low quality fossil fuel, then there's a lot of carbon dioxide that's associated with those uses. And so that's my concern. And there are plans to increase the current use of lignite by about a hundredfold or more. Well, there are plans to do three things with lignite at the moment in, in, on a large scale. One of them is to convert it into diesel. Uh, one of them is to convert it into urea, which of course is a fertiliser, nitrogen fertiliser. And the other one is to make a whole lot of briquettes for export out of it. That's a high, higher quality form of coal. So those are the plans at the moment, but each of those uses uh, increases the greenhouse gases that we would have be emitting within our shores. What I've concluded in the report is that we should actually leave it in the ground, at least prevent this large scale use of it, until um, the subsidies it might uh, get under the emissions trading scheme at the moment uh, are ruled out entirely. But secondly, when mitigation options are proven to be sufficient and reliable, uh, this is whether it be planting a very large amount of trees or somehow capturing the carbon dioxide and storing it. And I think those are nowhere near proven and reliable. I have three recommendations uh, in the report. Two of them are directed at the Emissions Trading Scheme because that's our main tool for dealing with it at the moment. Um, one of those is, is stopping lignite developments from receiving free carbon credits. Uh, the second one is uh, a more general one because lignite is actually just uh, an example, admittedly a very big one, of um, new industries that could be eligible for free carbon credits. Um, but I've also got a recommendation there about the creation of a clean green task force. Uh, there's a lot of interest in this already, but I believe that uh, one of the things I would like to see that task force do is to pick up where this report leaves off because I'm really looking for a national discussion here. This is you know, we had Think Big some years ago, I'm old enough to remember that era, this is Think Very Big, and I think it's a discussion that the nation needs to be involved in.